Hello beauties, welcome back into my channel. If you are new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are already part of my channel, you already know, like, comment, and subscribe. In today's makeup, I decided to do a glitter brown smoky eye, which I'm so happy that I made the decision to create this look. This is so pretty. I'm so happy. I feel so pretty today with this eyeshadow. Like, I feel so glam sexy and all of that stuff you guys know but oh my god guys if you want to see how i recreate this look stay tuned and keep on watching Grabbing this clear gel, this is from Maybelline Fit Me. This one is the clear transparent gel. This one is called Gray Lash. Now, this is for your eyelashes. I use this one for my brows. I do like this one because it's clear and it does give to my eyebrows a beautiful effect and it does stay all day. Now. If you are those person that you like more a tint eyebrow gel, you can go ahead and use it. Now, this is an eyebrow mascara, but I do like this to use for my eyebrow. Shadow. All right, so I'm going to be using the James Charles eyeshadow palette because I'm going to do a brown smoky eye with glitter today. And this eyeshadow palette is so pigmented. You guys, if you don't have it, you need to get this one and the reason is because with these eyeshadow palette you get a lot of shade like you get bright colors you get neutral color you get browns you get red you can do anything with this eyeshadow palette so I feel like you will be so lucky if you get your hand into this palette so I'm going to so I'm going to be use this color right here so this is more like a maroon shade kind of like what I have on right now so let's see how it goes let's see how we look but the makeup that i have in mind today is going to be beautiful so make sure when you are getting your eyeshadow from this eyeshadow palette in general make sure you are rubbing the eyeshadow in the brush that way you don't that way it doesn't fall out that much product so in the corner right here i'm going to start blending the eyeshadow and then I'm going to going back and forth. In the corner, focus in the corner. And then all the way up. Alright, so when you do this technique, it's easy for you to blend the eyeshadow more faster so that way you don't stay there like two, three hours blending the eyeshadow. And you also get more pigment. Alright, so because we're going to do a brown smoky eye, I'm going to grab this shade right here this one right here so to get a more deep crease all right so with another brush you're going to grab the brown shade right here with this one mix them both of them and then you're going to apply that on your lid and you're going to pat it. Don't blend it, just pat it. Fluffy brush that you use at the beginning go ahead and grab the darkest shade that I show you first which is this one right here so go ahead and grab that shade right there and then 
kind of blend two colors together. Now, if you want to do a black smoky eye, you can do the same step, but add the black eyeshadow. So grab another clean brush and then grab the lighter shade that you used at the beginning and then blend the edges. All right, so if you want to leave it like that, you can leave it like that. But in my case, I'm going to add glitter because I want to give it a different dimension. And if you want to blend it a little bit more, blend it a little bit more. All right, so with my finger, I'm going to apply it on the center. It show up more. Now with my finger, I'm going to grab the glitter and I'm going to apply that on the lid. You see that? Looks so cute. You see why is the reason that I recommend to you to do your eyes first because you don't want to this happen. All right guys, so these eyelashes are Tease Me from AMC underscore lashes. So let me see how this lash look like on me today because I haven't used it before. So I'm kind of scared because they are like a little bit longer, so. You know, guys, you go right here. Don't know if I want a long lashes. These are not bad. I feel like I have to cut them at the end and then try it on and see how they look like. I like to apply it a lot, especially in the corner because you don't want your lashes move or they kind of flip out a little bit. So make sure you always move your eyelashes like this so that way they get a little bit of the shade and they're easy to apply. So that way they get more shape and they're easy to apply. Make sure when you put it on your lashes, you add the metal first and then the end all right using the Too Faced plump and prime zero this serum going to help to type your skin lifting and firming also it will help your foundation look flawless because it does have hyaluronic acid in it so it's so good you also will be able to see different in your skin. If you use this product more than two times, make sure you do it twice a day if you want to see uh, different in your fine lines and wrinkles. And then if you want to see your skin more tight. You have a beautiful scent. It is not too crazy heavy, which I do like because there's some product that you can have it on your face for long because some of them give you allergy or any skin reaction make sure you press on your skin so that way your skin absorb it all right i don't know about you guys but i do like to apply moisturizer on my skin so you guys already know that i do like the kill moisturizer so this is the 24 hour moisturizer this moisturizer it is normal it's not too dry, it's not too oily, it's not too greasy, which I love because I can stand greasy moisturizer. I do like those for nighttime when I'm going to bed, but for the daytime, I can do it. 
All right, so you already know my favorite primer. This is the Smashbug Blur and Smooth Primer. So you guys know that this primer is everything for me. And I have to use it in every single makeup because I feel it's the one that worked the best for me. Now, I do like to apply everywhere on my face. I do like to apply that under my eyes. But I don't like to apply too much because it kind of messed up your concealer if you apply too much all right guys so this is the Too Faced foundation this is the 24 hour foundation now this foundation right here is oil free it's 24 hour long wear and also is waterproof so if you are oily i do recommend this foundation for you i do recommend that you try it on this foundation because it's amazing so the ingredient that this brother have in there is coconut water so coconut water help your skin to be moisture through the day Alpine Rose is a product that it will help your skin to look healthy and then it does have hyaluronic acid so hyaluronic acid it does help your skin to look more smoother and look more younger so if you do like a foundation that help you to look younger this is the one now if you are more dry skin I do recommend to hydrate your skin before you apply this foundation because I mean this foundation is a little bit on the matte side so that's the reason why you need to hydrate your skin before you apply this foundation all right so I'm going to grab my beauty blender and the shade I have is warm golden So this shade is better for my skin tone. This one is close to my skin tone. The other one that I have before, it looked a little bit lighter. The reason why I did light this foundation is because it doesn't crease that much. And that's what you're looking for when it comes to foundation. You want a foundation that looks natural, that looks good, that it doesn't crease, that it make your makeup look better than what you normally do so yeah that's the reason why i keep going back to this foundation i did try yesterday the huda beauty foundation stick but that foundation color is not my shade so that's the reason why i decided to use this one on this tutorial because I do want to use a color that is close to my skin now this is a medium coverage it's not a full coverage foundation you can it's buildable you can make it to look uh, full coverage which, which I do like this foundation because more natural finish it's not too uh, full coverage because you can make it work with that concealer if you're not going to use your makeup all day night long it's good to have a foundation like this because it doesn't club your pores so yes all right so for the concealer i'm using n500 from covergirl and on top of that i'm going to add another shade a little bit lighter because i do like my under eyes to be brighter so i do like to apply Tar Shade Tape 22M Light Neutral on top of my concealer. Alright, so with my Juvia's Place Setting Powder, this is in shade Kalahari. I'm going to set my under eye concealer. Make sure you blend really well the concealer before you set it all right so to set the rest of my face I'm going to be using MAC setting powder this is NC 43 this is the studio fit setting powder So you guys already know Tequila Town Bronzer on my face.
and I did add NC47 and Studio Fit from MAC as well just to dip a little bit more my contour because the eye shade deserves this All right, so you guys already know that I'm going to use the same shade I did in the top I'm going to do on the bottle, but not the glitter. So this shade first, then this one, then that one with this one. All right, so grabbing my Wisp of Gill Highlighter from MAC. You guys already know that this is my jam. This is my all-time favorite highlighter. I'm going to be doing my Teardrop and my Brow Bond highlight. Now you can see why I do love this highlight, because this is everything. All right, so I'm going to apply the same highlight on my cheek. All right, so you already know this is KKW 2.5 Lip Liner. Lipstick and then True Story liquid lipstick as well, and because I want a maroon look. Guys, yeah, so I do love the way my makeup turns out today. Like that's what you get when you use an eyeshadow palette that is so pigmented. I have to say one more time, I'm so in love with the James Char eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow are amazing. I mean, the pigmentation is so beautiful. You guys already know how beautiful it blend on my eyes and the way it does work together. I do love the formula. I do love the technique I use to apply this eyeshadow. Now, the guys, the foundation I have today, it looks so beautiful. I do grab my shade, the shade that I'm supposed to be. This is warm neutral, but look how beautiful my makeup turns out today. I feel like my skin look flawless with the same thing as the Huda Beauty foundation stick. I do like both of them. Oh my God, they don't feel like you got makeup on. And the good thing about these two foundation, they are waterproof. They stay all day and they are lightweight finish. So if you don't like too heavy makeup, please go get these two because they are bomb that come. With these two foundation, you can be on the water and your makeup won't move and it will stay all day night long. So yes, guys, I do love the way my makeup turns down. Oh my God, this one right here, this one right here. You need this one. You really need it. This is amazing. This is beautiful. Like, I don't know, guys, the way this primer work on my skin is insane. Like, oh I haven't God. seen you have to get it like there's nothing else I can tell you you have to get these because it does move my skin and make my skin look like flawless and make my skin look blonde firm like you guys can see like how beautiful my makeup turns out today it's amazing but you know guys I feel like you need to get this all right make sure you grab it make sure you get this and don't forget 
all right guys so this is the end of this makeup tutorial i hope you like it i hope you enjoy it. i did enjoy every step of this makeup i do love the way my makeup turns out today like look how beautiful it look it looked amazing well, all right guys so i'm going to be doing a giveaway pretty soon but i need your help i need your help i need you to go ahead and subscribe comment like and thumbs up because if we get to the 1000 subscribe i'm going to be giving away some makeup pretty soon i'm going to be doing the video showing you guys what i'm going to give away on the giveaway so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you and i see you next time bye bye